this is just to prove a point. If there is any point to this uh, local like um, they always pull up here when you come up here. But I was just going to go around to the little tiny um, little tree park and sit down and drink the last of my coffee because I got it from the other place but just around the corner and I thought I'd just sit in there for five, ten minutes on my own for one. And before I actually get to it, I was actually thinking, will I have the workmen, as they did yesterday when I was sitting in there the whole time making the words, even though I had blue track in the ears, which I do now. But I just was going to wait till I sat in the park to see if they come around and start up work. But before I even get to the park, look, just here's my pump set and all this just since yesterday. Waiting here, look at all this rubbish. Look, look at all this rubbish. What's this car coming around here at the same time too? Like I can't get around to it and I've got stuff all in my eye. You're getting stuff in my eye. You're getting stuff in my eye, but it's not. single part like that. They just dig up these streets. They'd already fixed all this street. What in the hell are they doing that for? They put all new stuff there, completely covered it about a month or two ago, okay? We noticed that. So now they this is all fake work. They are just fake, fake, fake people. They're not people. They are fake androids doing work. Let's have a look what they got up here. Be look. Oh, I better calm down. Oh dear. So sorry. I don't know what I'm sorry for. I'm only sorry for myself, to be honest, because, like, I, uh, I'm just making myself hot and harassed and um, losing energy with these fake people doing fake work. That is totally fake work, even though they have dug up all that cement there. They put all new cement there not long ago, only, like, about a month, month, month and a half. Might even be less than that. I don't know, but it has not been very long. Let's see what they got waiting up here. This is just my point because, you know, I just want to sit in this one little park that we always used to sit in with the Simba dog because it was good for him to sit in there because you could close the gate and he was blind. But even on those days, I cannot recall hardly one day when we did it day after day, month after month, for about three years. I cannot recall... Hardly one day when there was not some noise around here. Look, so look at all this. So as soon as you get there, look. And this was a racket. I'm just going to say something to this. Uh, excuse me. Oh, are you going to be making noise today? No, just for the next half an hour. A good chance of it. At least you're honest. Uh, yeah, because I was just going to sit in the park and if it's going to be noisy, I'll go and find a quieter spot. Oh, right, okay. okay. Are you going to put some seats here? Uh, no, I don't think So you just blocked it off, but you're not going to put any seats because I was told the whole thing was to put some seats. So actually, you're not really much... I mean, it's not you, obviously, no, that does no. it. You're just doing yeah, what yeah, is. But I don't see the point in that because actually even some of the people around here told me that that was the whole purpose of it. So they'll be very disappointed. Oh, okay. Yeah, so you better get on to your boss and say, hey, we want some seats, uh, you know. Yeah, no, even then. <laughs> yeah, that's what they all told me because yeah, I, yeah. I, didn't, I didn't care one way or the other, you know, because, I mean, we've got yeah, the... the uh, designers or whatever it is that have decided, you know, yeah. what, what, what's going on with them. Yeah, but I'll find another spot for my coffee. Thank you. He was honest. He said, "No, we'll be making some noise, so I won't be sitting in the park." And uh, if they weren't making it, this one up here would be making it because I noticed this place here often has. They can always come out with some fake mechanical thing, so it matters not. Or they'll be doing some work in any of those houses around. Always so. Oh, it's called koala box. They copied my liking of koala bears. They use words. They use things that humans focus on to advertise and to 
uh, promote things and, and just because they just, because they're um, essentially, this is what I now realise, they don't understand anything. They're just programmed survival machines. That's what they actually are. They're only here for that purpose, for their own survival. And that's why they um, download all the human stuff in order to um, survive, basically, in this reality and um, take over the life human banks. Essentially, that's what it is. Uh, but I could have used better words. See how he's standing there on the road and he's standing there. You see? See? He will come up, but they stop and stand. And the mobile is an excuse. See, I only stop because I'm filming them to show you. But this mobile device is a good... Um, excuse for this patrol system to stand around on the street because in the past if you saw so many people standing still on the street just doing nothing just standing there waiting for you to come past you would think it was a bit funny if you saw enough of it as I do but because of the mobile people pretend to just stop in the middle of the street on the mobile I'm not sure why you would even do that but I suppose there could be you know, they cover everything. They cover everything with a practical reason. You know, yeah, here we have the bus. It just happens to pull up in front. The bus driver just happens to get out. You know, they always change the example of the guards in front of them. But either way, I'm folding up because I, I just have to go home because there's nowhere for me to sit. The park will be noisy. They, uh, oh. And my arm is sore, so I'll just cross Parramatta Road and go home. And I, but they're not even going to put seats there in that particular thing, so they're just doing all that, blocking it off the road. Look at this poor dog here. Yeah. Not that here, where I cross that. Yeah. Look at this dog, that's unusual. Look at him sitting out here all on his own on the street on Parramatta Road. That's fine. Come on, darling. Oh no, sorry, I don't want to cry here. Sorry, I do go on the road. I look like a young dog sitting there. I saw him yesterday in the back when I come round. He sits outside. Um, when he got up, as you could see, he was wobbling. His legs are not so great. The cat limps too, just like I do a bit. My cat, I mean, big boy. I don't know why this would be, but um, it's kind of strange, that's why I say the animals and the whole thing. You see, they've completely demolished all of this here too and changed it because they used to have seats that, once again, me and Patrick used to very occasionally sit on seats if it was late of a night with the coffee just here. They've completely paved the whole thing and changed it all. All the spots that I kind of like, anything I like or or use or am used to and think is okay, they get rid of. And that's basically it. Look, they've actually done this whole thing. See, it used to have um, all seats here. Now you've only got those ones where it's part of the coffee, the Matrix coffee shop there, see? You know, where... Um, where you have to sit, and also that's only open like for, you know, a few hours each day. Here we have the Matrix patrollers waiting for me up here. Can I get away from these things? No. Look, just have a look. Oh, I feel like I, I really do. I really have to control myself here just for a second, otherwise I'm going to lose it and say something. And they, and they like that because, um, you know. But look, look up here. I could be polite and ask him. But, um, uh, is this blocked off, is it? Yeah. Is there any part of Leichhardt that isn't blocked off? Yeah. Are they digging up down here yeah. and down there as well? I can't go all, all down there. Can I, I can't come down here. So I have to go back round. That's all right. 
a lot of you to say, oh, you're sorry, and they're not sorry because they, they do it deliberately. So I have to go back on it. They're not doing anything down there. That was all done too, not long ago, where they put all new asphalt on the ground. It's all baked. It's all staged. It is just designed to um, show that they're controlling everywhere you go. Basically, if you want to look at it that way. That's, no, don't look at it that way. That is what it is. That is what it is. And, uh, you know, they'll be gone probably as soon as I, I, you know, go around here and go back home. I've got to put my bag... I've got to fold up my arm. It's hurting. I can't hold the thing any longer. But there will be probably more obstacles just on the few blocks home. That's getting down Norton Street with all the traffic and the patrol force that always is around. It may not look like much, but there's only 14,000 people supposedly oh, oh, in my cut, you know? But, um, you know, there shouldn't be that many people always on the street every time you come. There's very little even up where I am here. There's, um, you know, like, it does, this is not something that you can actually show to anyone. It's something that you know because, as I said before, if you've lived in an area for 30 years, you know where people are. You know, road, but even this road was supposed to not have as much traffic because they're basically built an underground highway under the city of Sydney. But I don't see any difference on this Parramatta Road because that's what it was for. But as I've mentioned before, I have been told that it has made a difference. But the only spot where there is a lot of traffic is here where I am, wherever I go. Basically at the top of Norton Street where I always go. I have been told by other people that that is the only uh, spot where there is still a lot of traffic. Now, why would that be? Why has it, yes, took traffic off this road where if I went a few blocks in either direction, there should be very little traffic? I wonder if I did that. I have a feeling that wherever I go, there will be a lot of traffic. I know that to be a fact because it is all false. It's all stained. It, yes, of course there's less traffic anywhere where, where I am. So people think that all these things are good ideas, you know? You know, this one just stops in front down here, just casually, just as though they're normal. They look so normal, they look so this and that. They are not. They just take very ordinary human bodies so that they can blend in and no one knows the difference. And they mimic human actions I saw a woman folding her arms the same way I was earlier because I was uncomfortable. And so she's folding it, you know. It's all, they copy it because they want to not be exposed, because they want real spiritual people, the few that are left, to not um, be able to tell the difference and therefore never, never actually make contact with your own kind. That is the purpose because that is what all this is about. I know that now, because otherwise, why are they patrolling me? Because I'm not doing anything, you know. I'm not doing anything that should rock their boat. Okay, so I'll make a few videos, but I wouldn't be doing that if I wasn't in my situation. And I wouldn't even be um, opposed to any of them. I may be um, terribly surprised uh, and think that um, I would wonder what has happened. But I would probably say if they leave me alone, I'll leave them alone and I'll, if, if I can just still get on with um, just daily activities, shall we say. But it's not like that. They want to stop you from every activity. They want to make your life uncomfortable. They want to suppress you with every, every level, you know. That's because they are surviving the shooting. Look, they're, they're waiting for me round here at the top. See, I've just come round here 
to because that's all blocked off. But now I come around here and it's blocked off at this end too. Right? And I think it's funny. See how they laugh. Should be like I said, in case of emergency, long as it be ready for March. Bring back the bottle, tell me, mate. Right? Back, that's it. Yeah. I said back at you because I think he was casting some sort of thing on me or something. Put the weight back over him. Look at look at all this. Yeah? Look at it. Look what they fixed all this. Even to the object. It's every single street, every single But only continually around here for month after month. This has been going on for over a year now along these streets around here. Like, why would there be need to be doing all this work on this one little spot where I go? It's all the time, day in and day out. It's not plausible. Yeah. They struggle in here. They don't walk, they strut. The only time they walk normally is when they need it. Really. They learn. And, um, yeah, you know, we have, uh, have the dog walking around here. You can see the orange all there. It's not even loud, but, but it's there, you know. But I'm folding up because I've got it. See how they sit there with the engine running on that truck? It won't come out. Some of them actually look worried. You know, because they're so desperate survival bloody machines, you know, that know that they have no real power at all in this reality. They actually don't. They just have um, their suppressing ways. They have technology, they have their patrol forces, they have their planes and their dogs. And you know, they're fake, um, oh, my arm is aching. Oh, dear. Oh, look, there's more of it here. See, the bus pulling up there too behind me, that car with its bonnet up in front, all this bakery. Look at all this. Look at it all. Look at it. Yeah, well, they are warning me there because they're bloody dangerous with what they do. That's exactly right. You know... I have nearly went over a few times because at night time they don't even have enough lights and yet and yet I've got these lights from cars and lights everywhere and your eyes are the top. It's unbelievable. <laughs> put around. You know, I shouldn't be angry at them. I shouldn't even be making a video and I don't even know if they can hear me because I've got stuff in my ears. But look, I mean, they're just... Uh, Look, I've got to fold up because I can't hold the mobile. My arm is aching so much. Unless I can put rest here for a sec. I should be home. See all these little diversions too. I need to go around and even filming to show this matrix. It takes my time and energy. But... I don't know. I don't think it, it actually even helps anyone because um, it doesn't stop it. It doesn't stop it. Uh, but they're still fearful of it. All, I think. So they're all fearful of it all. Now watch all these patrols come past. Me. These people are not going anywhere. Slowly and consistently around you. For 14,000 people, and all these buses for a small 14,000 suburb, you know, like, the, of course they say, well, of course they put the bus depot there, you see, but that bus depot has expanded into something huge. It used to be a very small bus depot, you know, very small. Try not to be too obvious here. Very small. But see how they're always going into that forum too. That forum in the past, you could stand there for half an hour and you'd see one person go in. Now they pile in and out there and yet there's nothing open. Nothing. All the shops have folded up and closed down. And I am folding up. And hopefully I'm not closing down yet, but... 
fish. And they're walking around with a computer right in front of them. It's really showing how addicted they are to the technology and what they really are, to be honest. It's almost um, showing you the reality. But I'm not sure whether all these people actually need to have the alcohol or not. Maybe that is a human control influence, you know, to get us to be. Because look at me, I've got a mobile now with me, on me, most of the time when I go out, whereas I never used to, up until I decided that I had enough, um, uh, you know, enough in me to have the uh, going there to actually build again when I was out, because I always wanted to, because I thought that maybe I, I might basically thought that I would like to show that there was a noise situation around the and in my part, you know, that was um, deliberately trying to harass um, me and bring me down at a mental level, because if you can't get any um, peace and quiet at all, even when you like go and sit in the park, say for instance, because obviously if you're um, on the main road, you don't expect it to be really peaceful. But even the traffic, the noise and the vehicles, their sound is slightly louder than what it used to be. That is uh, something that you can't really show. And some people would think that is normal traffic noise, but it actually isn't. It is louder than what it used to be. The buses make louder noises. I noticed that early on. I thought, gee, what's happened to all these buses? They're all making these dreadful engine noises, you know, like as though, and I mentioned it, and people say, well, they're just old and make a lot of noise. But, but that's not the case. Mind you, if they notice that you notice it, that the other real humans will notice, they will act like something else. They're very, very, very cunning. That's really all I can say. I see so many areas where they get one step in front of The minute you wake up to something, they'll spread it around and change something. Because they want this covered. They are so cunning and sly and anti-lie, you know, that you wouldn't believe it. They cover themselves in every area because they know that human beings are not totally stupid. Especially if you are starting to realise this, because this reality now has gone very, as we know, into, I don't know what I'm but um, this slow one coming up, you know, looking as though she's in great suffering. That's probably mirroring my mental and physical thinking about things. Because, see, they, they will do that because they think it will give a longer time, you know, because they are you know, basically surviving machines. If you think that it will be a benefit for these to undo this, um, you'd have to show that to me. I don't see it. Um, because if, if you want to emulate something and turn it round or turn yourself around, just like I would like to. I can't even do it, and I'm a real person. I can't be, um, you know, uh, as, I can't really be as I would want to be. I fail. But of course, that is largely due to the matrix, so I'd have to say, in recent times. Maybe not quite, well, yes, maybe even throughout your life, but not in such a big manner. Some of them were your own where you had a choice. Yes, sure, the matrix did condition you and make you behave negatively, but you still had more of a choice. Whereas now I don't feel that I even have a choice because if you are under all this pressure from all this stuff around you, it can't help but make you in a negative frame of mind, and, uh, you know, angry and stuff. You know, it can't help but do that. See, even when I'm, there's a pram pusher over there in front, see these pram pushers? Look at the numbers if, if you really think about it. But I've just stopped here for a second, but my naked eye, of course, is scanning the whole landscape like a block in the street. And I see that the minute I look down here, the car is pulling in. The minute I look here, there's people coming behind me. 
the minute I look in front, there's someone coming in front, you see. But it has to be where you look because they mainly want to cover your mind. They want to take over your mind. And they do because that is taking over your mind. See how I looked here and this red car is pulling out in front, up out of that um, uh, whatever it is there, see? But that won't come out. That's why I'm saying it, so that I can show it. Because if I just put the mobile around this street, it doesn't look as though anything that is happening. But see, the minute I look there, that woman crossed the road in front of me. I'm just going to tell you where my eyes go, because I've got the mobile straight in front on this red car here, see? But my eyes are not looking at the red car. That's just where I've got the mobile put, and my eyes are looking around the street. And what I'm going to say is that my eyes are looking over there now. But see how there's a fella coming up. My eyes are looking there and that woman looked around back at me that walked past in front. My eye is looking over there and that cement mixer immediately pulled in, pulled in, the pulling in and pulling out of the car. That won't come out of the mobile. My eyes saw it. See, they're taking over my visual and therefore my mind because that's part of what is. See, I looked and the bus immediately come in front. Those people in front. Look there, those people are coming up. I look there and there's a man there, but that won't come out. I look here and there's someone coming up right in front of me. See, I'm just going to tell you where my eyes are going because the mobile is not where my eyes are always, see. Okay, so... My eye immediately went over there and there's a man directly in my path, see? I'll tell you where my eyes, what I see with my eyes and then I'll show you with the mobile because I can't move them. See, I immediately went back here and now there's another one coming up in front of me. They're innocent too with their little shopping basket, you see? They've all, they're all just shopping and doing things. I have to make it look real. You know, it makes it look as though I'm the idiot standing on the street filming them, whereas they are just getting about their shopping. But they're not. They are not. They are all told, programmed, survival machine androids to come here and do this. There's another one coming up in my sight. Now, <coughs> um, oh, so the minute my eyes went to this white car in front, there's a woman getting out of it. Can you see? See? That's where my eyes went. See how they're taking over my sight at a visual level and therefore my mind. See? Two in front. That's where my eyes went. Three. That's where my eyes went. My eyes looking straight in front and there are people walking on this street in front now, this would seem like Norton Street. There's very little open here now oh, because the lockdown has stopped, except that the lockdown now is only for me. You know why? Because I'm the only person that doesn't use a mobile to go in all the shops. Most of the shops are now back open here, but I'm the only one that can't go in because I don't have the app on my mobile and I refuse to use a mobile to go into shops like I've been doing for a lifetime. It is not normal. In my line of sight. That fellow was in my line of sight. These ones coming up are in my line of sight where my eyes are going. Let me try and show it to you. When I look back round here, see how she's looking back round, double back round. In my line of sight. These people are coming at me in my line of sight. These ones there are in my line of sight. And they know that I'm showing this. Up here in front, in my line of sight, all these people coming up are in my line of sight. The minute I look, the minute my eyes go onto it, they take over your sight and therefore your mind because that has taken my concentration, that has taken my focus. I no longer have my own life on the street. There's two there talking loud too. Some of them, they like to talk loud and say certain words that might bug you. Or, get, or annoy you, you know, because they know that you'll pick it up. And also they will mimic loud too, so that that way they say, we're better than you, you've lost your um, reality. We can act 
more human than the earth can. So my line of sight, that fella crossing the road, line of sight here, line of sight here. Just trying to, uh, it's almost too much for me to keep up with it because, you see, my eyes are darting from one thing to the other. So, all these people, too many people, 14,000, too many. See, every, you know, all these fake people here, look, this fake, fake people sitting on the coffee, having the coffee, because they, if you have coffee, they will um, carry coffee and all this sort of rubbish, you know. You notice it. You, you can you just spot it a mile once you see it, once you know it's true. And, and you just see it. Let's see what these books have got to say. I don't normally do this in the daytime, but um, uh, I really can't concentrate because there's too many people around me. We've still got the devil, you know. They haven't changed that. So, you know, you know, got to stick with the devil, you know. And let's face it, we do. Oh, these cakes look nice, I must say. Let's just diverge and pretend everything's real for a second. Oh. But then again, they're interested in me, and I'm not interested in them at all, and that's the problem. I want nothing to do with any of them. I'd rather be with just, you know, if they were all gone, to be honest. Because, um, you know, to be surrounded by such negativity, it's just it just um, finishes you. I mean, you know, if I have to put up with this lot for... All the, where, see where my sight is going, this woman coming up and one behind. Then I go over there, there's an orange jacket in my line of sight. Fella going up those stairs in my line of sight. One come out in the mobile too far away. My line of sight immediately onto this seat and look, the people perched there. But I have to... I'm not going to say anything. Line of sight, line of sight, two in front, line of sight, two in front again, line of sight, all on the street. 14,000, they must all be on Norton Street. They must all be on damn Norton Street. 14,000 must all be on Norton Street. One going up there in my line of sight, car coming up right in front of me there, you know and car pulling in in my line of sight as soon as I swing round. I'm folding up because my arm is aching. 